I think it's working now. Here we go. This is the right code. Okay. That's what I did wrong. I didn't know we were supposed to use this code. No worries. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Brandy? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. I'm doing great. I'm past the first trimester of pregnancy. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Congratulations. That's, That's so That's why I've been in my A, because I had really bad morning sickness to the point that I was not doing anything. Oh, my goodness, Brandy. But, okay, I'm sorry that you went through the morning sickness, but this is really exciting. I didn't it, know that you were it, pregnant. Congratulations. We haven't posted on Facebook yet because we wanted to get past the first trimester. Okay, gosh. Well, let's see now. I'm, I, oh, well, now that you've made it past, you'll announce it. Because I was going to say, I was like, oh, crud, I just like exploded. But then again, you just announced it too. So I guess it's okay. <laughs> yes. We just had a couple of people we had to call. Like in the next day or two, it should be over Facebook. Okay, very cool. Well, heck, I'm just going to give it like a million hearts, you know, if I can do that, then when I see that. That's very exciting. But I feel honored that we get to know about this first. Yes. <laughs> Everyone gets to know about it first. Exactly. All right. What are you guys, All right, I folks, just got on. What are you guys talking Brandon? about? Wait, what, Christy? Sorry. I didn't hear, I didn't hear what you guys were talking about. What is this? Oh, Brandy, I, let I, her I, know. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm pregnant. Yay! Congratulations. Thank you. My, da my daughter <laughs> is pregnant as well. That's oh, exciting. hey, congratulations to her. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. I'm glad it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad to be past the first trimester. Do wow. what? I'm just glad to be past the first trimester. Yeah, mm -hmm. she'll be glad for that as well. So. <laughs> When are you due? I am due June 25th. Wow. Very cool. Congratulations. Thank my you. goodness. That is exciting. Wow. Such big news. I'm like, I don't even know how to follow up with that. <laughs> <laughs> talk about the oils. The oils. Oh, yeah. Are we'll talk about oils. We'll talk about oils. This will become like an oils and pregnancy call. No, nah, it's okay. <laughs> you'll have to leave that one next. <laughs> After you've tried everything with your pregnancy, you'll have to let us know how it goes. I'm just glad I can finally use the oils again. I was to the point that everything made me nauseous and throw oh. up. Oh, my goodness. It was horrible. No kidding. You're probably like living by your toilet, right? <laughs> I felt like it. <laughs> Well, we're glad to see you up and running and glad that you're back with us. That's a miracle. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Well, gosh, hello. Oh, man, look at all these wonderful people on here. Hello, ladies. Michelle, we've got Alicia on here. Jen, Christy, welcome, everybody. It's good to see you all here. How's everybody doing? Good. Awesome. I like the thumbs up. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, you can just say yes, that you're doing good. I know that you're good on camera. I'm cold and I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel kind of bad for you all because as I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, I see like Alicia's got her winter hat on and oh, there's Jen Yang. Give me the thumbs up. Awesome. <laughs> Are you cold too, Jen? Yeah? Boo. Ah, she's nice and toasty. That's good. Awesome. <laughs> well, I'm driving home, so I don't know whether to mute myself or not, so... Oh, okay. It's hard to unmute awesome. when you're driving, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I, I used to have to do that, too. No worries, Christy. You know, if you chime in occasionally, we'd love to hear from you. If not, no worries. It's okay. Um, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming on here. It's a pleasure to see you here in live, real time. I'm just like, oh, my gosh, this is great. And um, tonight, as I posted, we are going to be talking about essential skin care which is actually what um, one of the lines that doTERRA offers is. And so there's, you know, Virage, there's the HD Clear, um, and then there's the Essential Skin Care line. So I'm really excited to talk about this tonight. And um, by way of starting us off, I just wanted to talk for a moment about using kind of essential oils in general for, um, with doTERRA and stuff for your skin care just because I know that um, it's kind of a big topic actually and um, we've talked about it um, before and I think it was probably maybe a year ago or something but um, it's been a little while and so we wanted to talk about it again just because it is such a big topic and well pretty exciting news 
but doTERRA came out with some new products inside of their essential skincare line. And I have some of them here with me tonight, so I'm very excited. But just to talk a little bit about what doTERRA does for skincare. So within doTERRA, like I said, there are three different skincare lines. And I don't know about you ladies, what you all have used, but I've actually used all three of them um, to varying degrees. And I've loved all three of them. And so now I'm kind of focusing on the essential skincare line, but just by way of introducing them, I started off with HD Clear, which that is a really good um, skincare line, I would say a good collection, especially for younger skin. If you are prone to acne and breakouts and things like that, um, because it has, of course, our very favorite Melaleuca, a very cleansing and purifying oil, which is great for your skin. If you have any kind of blemishes, things like that which I still get that stuff. It happens all the time, you know? I know I look amazing in like a movie star right now, but you know, it does happen, you guys, I'm sorry. You know, have, have any, has anybody else on here used HD Clear? Yeah, oh, I'm seeing some nods out there, great. Wait. I have. Awesome, yeah, have your girls used it and stuff? They love it. Yeah, it's amazing, oh, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks for letting me know. Good. And so, yeah, I do love HD Clear, and I think that one works well. I think it also has like whole wood in it, black cumin oil or something like that. Some really cool ingredients in there, and it is an entire set. So um, you have, I think it's, let's see, what is it? So it's like you have the cleanser, and then you have, you know, the um, moisturizer, and you've also got the little oil blend, too, that you can just kind of roll on and rub on. So that's a really good one. So that's the first set that I always, you know, talk to people about, um, usually because I'm getting questions about, okay, what's good for acne? And then the second set that I've used probably the most um, is actually the Virage Skin Care line. And that is another really good set. Has anybody used that on here? I feel like some of us have probably used this one. Yeah, yeah Alicia, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> I, I use that one, Megan. Awesome, Christy. What, um, do you have like a favorite part of it or like what have you liked best about the Barrage Skin Care line? Uh, no, I like all of it. So. <laughs> Christy likes all of yeah. it. Jen loves the I moisturizer. I like all of it. My kids love the moisturizer too. I use different pieces from different skincare lines, but I love the Barrage oh. moisturizer. It's like I wish that mm -hmm. it came in a liter pump thing. I would put it all over my body. I Seriously. love the smells. Both of my kids steal it from me. Maddie, not so much now. She orders her own because she doesn't live at home, but Ella steals it all the time. So I have to have them <laughs> have it in all the bathrooms. Otherwise it disappears. I love it. Classic essential oil rivalry right there, you know, stealing from each other. It's like me and my husband calling, like we just kind of take oils from each other. And then I get really upset because I'm like, okay, what happened to my bottle of grapefruit oil? Hmm? Yeah, that's what happens. But it's okay. He hasn't stolen my moisturizer yet. But we recently happen. had a throwdown over a rose roller because I needed a little bit more. And Ella was like, well, you can't take the rose. And I'm like, I just need a little bit. No, that's my rose. Don't you have your own? I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, I love right, it. Fine. will not touch your rose roller. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ella's throwing her own mom under the bus over a rose roller bottle. That's great. See, see you guys. Just a little explanation. If you haven't tried rose, it's pretty much amazing. And it is also amazing for skincare. Yes. So just it's know that it's worth favorite flexible. thing for skin. She's like very right now. She loves the Virage moisturizer and the rose roller. Those are her, uh -huh. you know, that rose roller. I think she would, that's her number one product. Yeah, it is. Oh. What does she use it for, Jen? She uses yeah, it for blemishes. Like she's used, she's used the Virage cleanser, um, the reveal system, um, the invigorating scrub, but Really, the Virage moisturizer is one that she goes back to all the time, and the Rose Roller. She uses it on any blemish. Like, she uses it every day for blemishes, and her skin looks great. And then awesome. She stops using instead it. of Melaleuca. Yeah, she uses it instead of Melaleuca. She loves the Rose. She gets really quick, you know, she loves the result. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, that's cool. Gosh, I love it. Mm. And I do love Rose Roller Bottle. I actually need to order some more just because it's so good. So awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Jen. And I know that you'll have some other awesome tidbits throughout the call too. So, you know, we'll definitely want to hear them. I love talking about skincare if you guys can't tell. Um, anyway, all right. So since the essential skincare line is kind of a big one, we're going to actually move on to that. 
but I do agree with Jen that the moisturizer in Virage is amazing. And I actually do put it all over my body, just so you know, you know, just, just a little FYI. But um, anyway, well, can I say on. something real quick? Um, oh, please do, Christy. Please yeah. do. Talking about rose, I love the rose hand lotion. Um, I put some of that in my hand and then add a couple of drops of lime and grapefruit, and that's my body lotion. I love the smell of it, and it's very moisturizing. So. Ooh, ooh, I love that idea. So you said lime and grapefruit into your rose? Yeah, yeah, with the rose lotion. Oh, that sounds divine. Oh, my goodness, that sounds yeah. delicious. I'm going to actually go try well, that. That's how I got the event at the loft coming up because I put that on and I went in there just to go find a quick outfit for a vendor pair and the girl said, what essential oils do you have on? Which is funny that she knew it was essential oils and not perfume. Uh -huh. And that's how oh, we that's started awesome. talking about oils. So. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. That, is, that sounds really good. So I'm definitely going to have to try that blend. That sounds really good. Okay. All right, friends. So, all right. Does someone else have a comment? Was someone else trying to say something? Sorry. No, we good. Okay. All right. Well, without Hi. further. Oh, wait, hey, Alicia. Yes. Hop, hop in. <laughs> I always love to have my products with me when we're on these calls. Yes. Experience them. You know, I tried the different moisturizers while we were here. But this yes. Is amazing. I, I, I switch mine all up too. I like to do the Immortel, the Virage at night. I think yes. the serum, you just need a little dab and it really goes a long way. It does. They, they just smell so wonderful. And you smell the mm -hmm. jasmine, sandalwood, they're kind of smells I don't smell all the time. And yeah, it's a little more precious, right? Yeah. Yes, definitely. My skin's way better. Mm -hmm. It is, right? Right? Yeah. I love the hydrating serum. I have a, a red spot on my face. I've been working on a little bit and the rose is really making that disappear. Mm -hmm. I'll bet it is. Yeah, yeah. It works that well. Great skincare. Awesome. Yeah. Have you by any chance used Correctex? Has anybody used Correctex on this call? No? Okay. I see Jen. Yep. Thumbs up. Donna, have you? Were you, yep, that was a thumbs up, awesome. So I have to say, I recently discovered just like the amazingness of CorrectX. So, you know, I have like, you know, little skin blemishes or whatever, but CorrectX is amazing at helping with those things. Like I haven't really used it before, um, but, and I don't even know why I bought it. I just thought it looked really cool, so I did. I mean, who doesn't need CorrectX? So I went ahead and threw in my LRP, started using it, and I, I have to say, if you guys, if anybody needs a quick fix, that is a fabulous um, little ointment to have on hand. And a little bit truly goes a long way with the correct X. And so that one has helichrysum in it, frankincense, melaleuca, lavender, cedar wood. So it's really a heavy hitter when it comes to taking care of little skin blemishes. So I just wanted to throw that in there because that is another cool one too. But before we get carried away, well, actually we're not getting carried away. We're talking about important things here, so it's okay. But we're gonna move on now to the essential skin care line. So, and this is actually a pretty big skincare line. Thanks for laughing at me, Jen. I appreciate it. Cool. Um, anyway, we can hear your laughter, even though you're silent. Like, just, just don't know that that muter doesn't even work. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I laugh at my own jokes. All right. So the facial cleanser, let's see, it's kind of bright where I am. Sorry. I guess you can't really see that very well. Okay. Kind of right there. Yeah. Anyway. So that is the facial cleanser and that comes from the essential skincare line. And this one is really cool and it smells so good. And what's inside of it is melaleuca and peppermint. So those are the main essential oils that are in there. Oh yeah, Michelle, thanks. Appreciate that. I love the thumbs up. Woo! <laughs> yeah, little party here with skincare. Um, so it's got the essential oils of peppermint and melaleuca, which I have to say, this is one of my favorite facial cleansers just because it's really refreshing. So not only is it cleaning out your pores, and I have to say it deep cleans really well, because um, it has the melaleuca, but then also because of the peppermint, it's really cooling. And so every time I put it on, I'm like, ah, <laughs> you know, it just feels really refreshing. You know, especially in the morning time, if you're just waking up, it is a great thing to use. Um, and then also too, there are some natural cleansers in there as well. Um, such as yucca root. 
I always feel like I'm gonna mispronounce that. So I don't know, maybe is it yucca, yucca? I think it's yucca root, um, correct me if I'm wrong. And then it also has soap bark extract. So it's got some really wonderful natural extracts in there along with the essential oils to really help with it. Um, also like vitamin E, it's got macadamia seed oil. So it's a really wonderful cleanser. So you would obviously start off with that in your skincare ritual. I don't know, maybe, maybe you all start with something else, but I like to start with the cleanser. Um, seems like a good first step. And then let me pull this out. And I brought down my entire skincare line today. I'm only missing like one or two from this line, but I've got most of it. I'm really excited. All right. So the next step then in the essential skincare line would be the invigorating scrub. Well, sorry, it's like totally backwards. I just realized I was like, I guess that doesn't really help much, but that's what it looks like. Um, has anybody used the invigorating scrub? Anybody used it? Yeah. I have. I have it in my shower and I like it. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. So if yeah, I don't have time to do the mud mask, I use that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cause this has the grapefruit and peppermint. So again, kind of that nice, you know, citrus minty smell, which is always divine. And so, yeah, this is going to be your exfoliator and it works really well. Like you have used the reveal system use the reveal system it's just the two-step one yeah Jen awesome great anybody else yeah no okay all right well that's another great idea here and actually I think they sometimes kind of include that within this skincare line but the reveal system is another two-step system that helps to exfoliate and then also polish the skin so that's another good one but um, if you didn't have that absolutely use this one because it works really well so you know helps get off the dead skin scrub it off and then polish and reveal just this like amazingness below so you know ideas for you all all right so next we have the pore reducing toner so it comes in this nice gigantic bottle um one thing i will say is if you've used the virage system i kind of like the toner better in that one just because it comes in a spray bottle um, but don't let that deter you from using this one because I have to say this toner works really well too. Um, what's inside of this one, inside of this toner, you have lavender, ylang, ylang and German chamomile. So those are really good extracts that help to reduce appearance of pores on your skin. And then I also read that it does help to prepare the skin for deeper hydration. And so when you put on the moisturizer after you do the toner, that really helps to, um, the toner helps your skin to receive the moisture even more deeply. So that's pretty cool. Um, and so what you could do with this, you could definitely use it with the cotton, the cotton swab or whatever, you know, put it on your face after it's all clean and polished and all that. Um, or you could actually just kind of repurpose this and you could actually dump the toner into another spray bottle or something. Um, you can always get some really cool little glass spray bottles and things from a lot of different places like Aroma Tools or one of our favorite suppliers, TrueEssence.com. They have really cool, you know, roller bottles and like spray bottles and things like that. So if you need something like that, just to make it a little easier, go ahead. I'm definitely going to be doing that with my toner. So, and I have to say you all that today I actually just ran out of my Virage skincare line. So it's kind of exciting to start off with another skincare line. So I feel like this call was kind of meant to be today. You know, it's like a big transition for me. So it's going to be good. All right, let me move on, let's see. So next, anybody have any comments so far? Anybody just wanna shout out love for doTERRA skincare stuff? Like, <laughs> Love, yeah, I wish we had heart, I wish you could heart stuff on here. That's why it's like, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I love that product. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I wish the same thing. I really wish there were hearts on here. I mean, you know, I would like all the time. I'm like, oh, they're saying something I like, and I go to do it. It's like, oh, it doesn't work. Never mind. We're not on that. Oh, wait, Zoom doesn't have that yet. Maybe we should put that it in. Doesn't the have heart. <laughs> they will. They'll get them. They'll catch up. They'll get there. They'll get there. They, they will. It'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, I would be that person on Zoom all the time, just being like, heart, 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 heart. Yeah, that would be me. All I'm right. waiting for you to talk about the new eye stuff. Oh, yes, we're going to get there. We're gonna I'm like there. wildly addicted to it. Oh my gosh, me too. So we, so, all right. So the next thing though fine. is the break. You're okay, Jen. Don't worry. We love hearing from you and I encourage it. So don't worry. But the next thing is the brightening gel, which I unfortunately don't have that to show to you all. Um, do, has anybody used the brightening look, look gel? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry to let you down. Gosh, <laughs> so much pressure. I can't take it anymore. Gosh, it's I can't live your high standard. I think it's coming in my order, but it wasn't available yeah. until just recently. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Maybe that's why I don't have it otherwise. Get it. I'm excited. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So the brightening gel is going to be really cool, like mm -hmm. Jen said, and we're excited. So once you use it, Jen, we expect to hear what the results are. We have high I hopes. Will, I will do a Facebook Live and tell everyone how awesome the brightening gel is. Oh, fantastic. We will send you a million hearts when you're doing that, and I will be Perfect. there. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So inside of the brightening gel, so each step obviously has its own oils, right? So each step has different ones that are really cool. So the brightening gel um, has bergamot, juniper berry, and melissa. So really powerful, awesome oils right there, awesome. And um, then also, of course, it's got some other natural extracts, vitamins, and um, just the way that they put it together is really nice. And so um, this one is meant, of course, to brighten the skin, and it helps to even your skin tone. And so just like it sounds, brightening gel, brighten the skin, you know, sounds really cool. And so I don't have it yet either, but it is going to come into my next LRP order in February. So yeah, it'll be here soon. Um, and then what's really nice, um, one thing I want to highlight here, Jen. Jen and Michelle, the two of you really, really you two, you got to quiet it down. I'm telling you, the mute button just doesn't even work for you two. Gosh, I can hear you all the way over here. I'm bothering you. Uh, but it says here, which is really cool about the brightening gel, the micro encapsulation technology protects the vitamin C from breakdown and ensures the stability and efficient delivery of the vitamin to the skin. So I just think that's kind of cool that doTERRA, it's not like they have the essential oils but then it also has really awesome other things in there. Like doTERRA has really just top of the line skincare and they put so much consideration into their, into their different products. And that is worth a heart. In fact, that's like worth a heart from everybody. I think everybody should be hearting the camera. Just saying. So, you know, if you heard that you guys that, thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lots of hearts. All right, cool. But that's the brightening gel. And so once some of us get it and try it, we'll definitely have some Facebook lives going on. All right, so the next step in the system, I know we need to get to the eye stuff. I know, like Jen's just gonna have like breakdown over there in Maryland. <laughs> You're gonna need some more eye cream after this call. <laughs> All right, we've got the tightening serum. So that's actually a pretty big too. I think it's pretty cool. So this is the tightening serum. And this one in my mind is kind of like Immortel because it has frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood and myrrh which all three of those are in, in Mortel, but then there's also a lot of other things in Mortel too. So, you know, whatever, but it's got those three awesome heavy hitters and they are really good for helping to just refine the skin and to tighten it up. And so on here, what it helps to do of course, is to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and to really promote deep hydration of the skin. So really cool. And it does work pretty well. I've used it before and I like it a lot. So, okay, what's next? Aha, here we go. All right, now we can get truly excited, folks. Okay, let me, a little drum roll. Okay, we have here the anti-aging eye cream. Let me take off the little tube thing. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So can you all see this? Like a little roller, like steel roller bottle. Okay, yeah, awesome. So just kind of imagine I'm like rubbing this on your eye right now. I have that. <laughs> Do you have that, Christy? Tell us about it. <laughs> um, I've been using it for, I got excited because now I can see what you're showing. I couldn't tell before. Um, I've been using it for a couple weeks, but I'm only using it on one eye. Uh, so, can you tell on <laughs> Are you just doing an experiment? Is that what this is? Yeah, Our I'm science doing a science, doing a science experiment. I'm, a science teacher. I'm doing a science experiment. Oh, we love so, you, Christy. You're can awesome. You tell? <laughs> yes <laughs> I love it I love it I think that's actually really cool though like I, I should have thought of that I am just using it on one eye but it's only been a little mm -hmm. over a week a little Wait, over a week okay. January 1st brilliant how long is this clinical trial going to continue uh well I'm going to see what it looks like after a month don't you think Fair. that's a a good mm -hmm. length of time I think that sounds reasonable doesn't it ladies I think that sounds really, six really weeks. Very reasonable yeah. What are you doing, Jen? Oh, well, I, <laughs> I was Jen. trying to do one eye. One eye is going to be like, uh, and the other eye is going to be happy. 
gonna... <laughs> I love the eye cream. I thought when I first got it, I was not very, like, it took me a moment to realize that you do the little pump thing to get the stuff to come out around the roller. I was goofy. I was kind of like, I don't think it's working because I hadn't pumped any cream out of it. And then I learned how to do it, and I love it. I use it morning and night on mm -hmm. both eyes. Both of my eyes are going to look great. Yeah. Not just one, but I appreciate you taking one for the team, Christy. Yeah, way to go, Christy. You're yeah, like one you know, when I start to see results, I'm going to post pictures. So. Did you post a before picture? I mean, did you take a before picture? No, but I won't need to. I have the before on the eye that's not doing anything. Oh, my mom's saying you're absolutely right. Never mind. You're right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's going to work, okay, Christy. Christy. Because, you know, this stuff is going to be so powerfully awesome. It's probably just going to travel to the other eye and fix it. So I'm sorry. Your clinical <laughs> trial is already a bust. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> actually, actually, you do have a point, Megan, because the oil, it does travel. And like, if you have an issue on one side of your body, if once one thing is hurt, you often work on the opposite one. Like if your left hand is hurt and in the cast, you work on the right hand. And it, you Okay, know, I'll take a picture today. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you go, Christy. There you go. Some little considerations for your clinical trial. And this is a note to everybody who wants to do a proper essential oil test. Just know that your temps are going to be bungled if you try to just keep it to one area because they're powerful, they're amazing, and they're gonna heal everything. So just know. <laughs> but yes, this is how it works because I too, like Jen, I had some issues when I was first trying to use this because I did not know to pump the top. So um, let's see, can we do a little demo? Like, it, it seems like you shouldn't have to read directions, but you know, you really it popping out, like, hold it closer to the camera. I did the same thing, you guys. Look at it. You, you just kind of push down, down and it out. comes out the yeah. edge. I did the same thing. I was like <laughs> shaking it. I'm like, why isn't it coming out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, rolling like, it around. Yeah. Because <laughs> most That's things that come with a steel roller bottle, you would think that you would just roll it on, right? Like, no. But unfortunately, for once, yes, a bottle happens to be smarter than me. So it happens. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't judge it. But now that I have this awesome cream like hanging out, I'm just going to like go ahead and put that on my eyes real fast. Just kind of, wow. You guys can see a difference, right? Like my eyes just like immediately are just like healed. Oh my gosh. Wow. I probably won't even need these glasses in a second, but you know, for now though, while I'm still mortal, you know, I'm just going to keep it on here. So cool. All right. Um, so, all right. What do we have here? Okay. We have, so now, all right. So I just wanted to highlight though, just like a little mention, if you do get the essential skin in Caroline, what's really cool about it is it does come with this awesome booklet and it tells you all about each step of the way. So that if you have any questions on how to use anything or like what's inside of it, um, then it'll tell you right here. And it's also really cool because in the back, like all this talk about clinical study results and stuff from Christy. Thank you, Christy. You inspire us. Um, and seriously, I think it's really cool that you're doing that, you know, trial. I think it's cool. And I do expect to hear about the results. But what's kind of cool here is in the back of the little booklet, um, it does have a little section on clinical study results or clinical, yeah, clinical study results, where it just kind of tells you about all the different things going on. So, um, for example, let me just read off one of them. When measured, 100% of subjects showed immediate improvement in skin firmness with an average improvement of 35% after one use. After eight weeks, 100% of subjects showed improvement in skin firmness with an average improvement of 60%. Wow, that's a lot of statistics. But I have to say, that's crazy. Some, but those are some pretty awesome statistics, right? Jen? Pretty awesome statistics. Yeah, I had no clue. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's really I'm cool. look even better than I already do. <laughs> I know, and because you feel better about it, it's going to work even better. I swear. Just knowing this stuff, sometimes you're like, "Whoa, oh my gosh!" And so, I love that if you order the kit, just like with the vitamins, that you can get other pieces for less. Yeah. You're going to talk about that, and I'm going to eat. <laughs> Well, <laughs> but I think that's awesome. Like, I'm so excited about that part. Yeah, what? Are, yeah. that's news to me. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Well, thank you for delivering the truth bomb, Jen, because apparently we needed to know that. So, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it's really cool. Oh, I didn't mean um, to steal your thunder. You didn't steal my thunder. It's okay. I needed to get there anyway, so it's okay. One second. Okay. All right. Back in the Would game. I be rude if I ate? I turned the camera off because I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm no, you can go eat it on camera. It's only because I figure you'd rather watch me eat than have me be blank. Exactly. I would rather watch you eat. I think it's more interesting. So oh, don't okay. worry. Let's go about your life, right? Christy. Go about your life and eat your here food. Don't, I don't want to see it. That's going to make me jealous. It's like three in the morning <laughs> over here. I don't have any good food. One second. Okay. So this is pretty cool, you all. Um, yes. Like Jen said, doTERRA has made their skin, their essential skincare line. They don't do it with the others because they don't have a lot. Like you can get the whole set with the other stuff. But with Essential Skincare Line, it is a pretty big set. There's a lot of different things in here. And there's even one last step, and I'll talk to you about it in a second. But they've done it. So if any of you are familiar with Lifelong Vitality Pack, is anybody familiar with that here? Yeah. <laughs> of course we all are. We all love Lifelong Vitality Packs. We all know how that works. So with the Lifelong Vitality Pack, for example, when you order the kit, you get to customize it and add on some different things onto there, right? Pretty cool. So the same thing then now applies for the essential skincare line. So it's really nice. And let me see if I can get, um, if they tell you about it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Ah, yes, here we go. So again, cool little booklet if you order the whole kit, which I most certainly did. Woo. Okay. So if you get the basic skincare set, which that one includes, obviously has the facial cleanser. And then it has the invigorating scrubs. You get the cleanser, you get to um, exfoliate dead skin. And then you also get the pore reducing toner and then the skin tightening serum. So those are your four basic things that come in the set if you go ahead and order that. And then what you get to do is add up to two products um, at additional savings, right? Again, just like the lifelong vitality pack. And so the, you, um, you can choose of course um, from the four things that are available and mm, excuse me, they are the anti-aging eye cream. And then you also have the anti-aging moisturizer. There is the brightening gel. And then there's the hydrating cream. So those are four different things that you can choose from and you can choose two. Um, and there it's really cool because again, it's really big savings there. So um, it really does make it affordable. And with six different steps, yeah, whoop, whoop, raise the roof, I like it. I like it, Jen, thank you. <laughs> you know, giving us some party here. So it's really good um, because then like with six different steps, I mean, really, how can you go wrong? Like you have the most amazing skincare set, you really do. And so when I did my um, LRP order for January, like as soon as those products were available, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I have to have them now. And so I did. So I added the anti-aging eye cream, which now I know how to use it really well because you know, I'm now smarter than the bottle, which is really cool. Um, and then I also chose the hydrating cream. So yes, um, and this one's really cool. And I have to say, I've used it on other parts of my body and it works amazing. So within this one is lavender, jasmine, geranium, and frankincense. So with those amazing oils, you can imagine that this hydrating cream really is doing some pretty awesome things. Um, and uh, I, okay, so just to tell you all, um, I have been using this on my upper like, well, we'll just say it. I've been using it on my rear end. So, and it works really well. So just a little FYI, you know, we're getting personal here on the call, but really just to let you all know that it really does work well. Oh no, Jen, your phone's going to die. Okay. All right. We love you, Jen. We're so grateful that you came on the call. And if you disappear, we love you anyway. And the love vibes come with you. So yeah, wherever you are, they will get to you. All right, cool. Thanks for letting us know. Um, but yes, seriously. So the hydrating cream and honestly, like a lot of the different moisturizers, like I know with Virage, um, kind of like Jen was saying with the moisturizer, you can use it on pretty much any part of your body and it works really well. Like you will see like, you know, just really good skin and, you know, after even a week, um, I do, I definitely use it all over. And so I've used it on my legs. I used it on my rear end, like, you know, back everywhere and it works really well. Um, and so if you think this stuff is just for your face, you're wrong. It's not because it's good everywhere. But just because again, like it is a smaller tube, you know, you probably will stick with your face for the most part. Um, that's what I do. All right. Let's see. Is there anything that I missed here? Oh wait, there is actually another thing here. So I did miss one step. So there's actually another new product that they reformulated and um, it is the anti-aging moisturizer. So this is another cool step and I'll probably get it another month, maybe even in February. I'm trying to decide. It's kind of hard to decide. Ooh, someone has a call. Jen. <laughs> no, it's fine. Anyway. 
<laughs> All right, ladies. Okay, cool. So bear with me just a few more moments. We're almost through this. Because again, this is kind of like the opus of skincare, I, I feel like. Um, but it's the anti-aging moisturizer. And this one also has lavender, jasmine, geranium, and frankincense. So it's just high, um, so it's formulated just a little bit different than the hydrating cream. You know, hydrating cream obviously has the um, kind of the intent to really deeply hydrate the skin, which I will say for me over here in the Middle East, that is a big deal. I need to hydrate a lot. So <laughs> I do that a lot. Um, and then anti-aging moisturizer just kind of helps to moisturize and really to soften the skin. And um, yeah, so I mean, they're similar, but you know, just kind of different purposes there. So yeah. Um, but that is another, but anti-aging moisturizer is another one of the four products that you can add to your base kit um, within your LRP order. So um, just know that to do this, the customizable skincare kit, you do have to do it within your LRP order, which makes sense, of course, right? Because for those of us who do lifelong vitality, that is what you, you know, you can only do that within your LRP order, right? So yeah, cool. Okay, so just to recap, because we talked about a lot of stuff here. Um, so the first part is, the first stage is gonna be your cleanse. So you're gonna do your facial cleanser and then the invigorating scrub. So clean things up and then scrub off that dead skin. Second step is gonna be to tone your skin. And that is where you're going to reduce the appearance of pores and then prepare the skin to like receive deeper hydration and moisture and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really good. And then target, so the next step then is to kind of like target different areas and you know target different things. So then you have like the skin brightening gel. And so this can be used just to like help, you know, with like say dark spots, just to help kind of even out the tone of your skin, you know? Um, and then also too, after that, then we have the tightening serum, which this one is meant to tighten and to moisturize your skin. So like tighten up the pores and then of course, reduce the appearance of like aging and things like that. And that's actually what this whole set is for. So then you have, of course, the anti-aging eye cream. Oh, sorry, Michelle, here we go. Let me show this up. Yeah, we got a request to see the brochure. So, do you wanna see the stuff? Do you want? oh, sorry. Here you go, taking a picture. Awesome, and you have my face next to it, yay. Okay, um, and if you want, like, I think they might have the brochure online, and so I'll see if I can post that for you all. I think sometimes they provide those things, and so if I can, I'll put that on there. Um, but the tightening serum, again, moisturize, tighten, good things like that. And then you also have the anti-aging eye cream, which of course is meant for your eyes. And yeah, so really wonderful things. And then the last step is to moisturize. So really like you have the anti-aging moisturizer there and then the hydrating cream. So you can choose which products you wanna to add to your base kit, but they all work amazing basically. Oh, and there's like Alicia putting on her moisture, you know, putting on her moisturizer. I love it, you know. We're all just using oils and products and stuff during this call. That's what we're all about here. Amazing results. I just love it, you all. Oh my gosh. Okay, but that is the essential skincare line. And so I know that was just like a ton of information and long-winded, but I want to hear your comments. What do you all think? Like, what is your favorite skincare thing? Like comments, questions, what do you, what do you all have? I've been using Immortel a lot. When you talk about getting rid of um, sunspots or blemishes, yeah. I've been using Immortel, the roller. Um, I started last year. I had a lot of dark sunspots. Mm -hmm. And then I saw someone that I hadn't seen for a little bit and they were like, oh my goodness, your sunspots are, you know, so much smaller. And then I noticed if I don't use it, they come back, you know, so yeah. I tend to use it. I love using Hawaiian sandalwood for skin, you know, just by wow. itself. Hawaiian sandalwood and frankincense are the two main things I've used with my father for healthy skin cells because he yes. has some compromised skin cells quite frequently. Um, yeah. Within the last week, I had an awful weird thing under my eye that was red that I wasn't sure what it was. I mean, it wasn't a pimple. It was like okay. just some it, red blemish thing. Just yeah, like It was kind of a sore and it was kind of hard. It was, I mean, it just, it wasn't a pimple, but anyway, I used, um, well, I thought it was maybe something much worse, but I uh. used, rose, I used rose on it. And within just a couple of days I was using, um, Immortel on it. And within a couple of days of using rose, it completely disappeared. Okay. Um, very happy with that. That is awesome. So that was with Rose. And then, yeah, and then obviously use a lot of Immortel. So with Immortel, that roller bottle comes neat. 
And so do you actually dilute it with some coconut oil? How do you use it? I always suggest that people dilute it with coconut oil because you do not need to use it full strength. I usually recently, I use it full strength for a little bit and then I add coconut oil to it. But if mm -hmm. someone new had gotten it, I would say pop the roller off, divide it into a few roller bottles, top it off, or at least have, you know, set it aside. You can add it back to the original bottle, with, you know, to dilute it. But I would yeah. absolutely dilute it. You don't have to use it. I'm a little bit sensitive um, to helichrysum. Mm, and okay. great on my mm. face. I really like it to be diluted. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I found the same thing, Jen. I really love the Immortel as well. Um, but I have found that um, using it neat really is strong. And so it's kind of like, whoa, but it's awesome because it does have all those amazing essential oils. You know, it's got frankincense, lavender, Hawaiian sandalwood, helichrysum. I think it has what, like cedarwood and jasmine as well, and then some rose. Yeah. I think it has all those. And so it really is great. But yeah, mixing it with some coconut oil is a great idea. And so usually what I do is I get the, you know, bottle of Immortel and then I kind of make some stock bottles like from there or whatever. Like, you know, I'll make some little roller bottles and everything and then distribute them. Like Colin has to have his own. I have to have my own. And we can't share because, you know, that's just not cool. So, because we both get a little bit protective of our stuff here. But it does work really well for like all, basically anything. Like, and I feel like, Jen, you've used it a ton for like a lot of different things that I wouldn't have even thought to use in Mortel. I used it on my father's broken ribs because I didn't have helichrysum when he broke his ribs. Now I have helichrysum, but at the time it was what I had. And it worked wonderfully. We all know my story and my testimony with that. And the facts when I say I went around his ribs with it, you know, because it was in a roller and I couldn't go on them. So I went around the outside with the roller and I did that a few times a day. And it really, he was, as long as we did that and he took a capsule, he was awesome. It was as if he was fine. And wow. when he stopped doing that, he was in a lot of pain. So, you know, mm -hmm. you can absolutely use it. If you don't, I know a lot of people when they start out, they don't have helichrysum since it's a more expensive oil. If you have Immortel, you know, voila, you can use it that exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, it's a heavy hitter. Cause again, it has all those like amazing high frequency oils. Like they're just, they're awesome. <laughs> you know, they're mm -hmm. precious and they work so well. So that's- I just, I, I, um, talked about Immortel recently with some people. And one of the things that I said that it's good for, I have, I know someone else who can testify to this on the call, um, having people use it for this purpose, but it's also good for all anti-aging things. Um, it is one of the oils that you can use for erectile dysfunction. I always oh. say that I'm going to make my millions just for that. But I can believe that actually. I think that I, would, that's a precious secret right there. It is. It's a, it's Shouldn't even a, be a seat. Yeah. There you go. Immortel. Awesome. Well, and actually that makes sense, right? Because of all the different things that are in there. Like if you think about the, you know, how much healing that it promotes. And so you have some really cool oils in there. And so absolutely use it for that. And again, Jen, like always bringing the awesome ideas of like how to like use the oils because you know, the way that, um, essential oils are sometimes marketed. Like sometimes it gets marketed, you know, oh, this is great for skin. You know, this is great for this, blah, blah. And so you might not think to use it for some of these different issues, but I think that's fantastic. And so I love getting these new ideas and I'm just like, oh, cool. Next time I meet somebody, you know, who has that issue that's willing to talk about it with me. I'm like, dude, I am totally going to tell them immortal. I'm going to be like, rub that all over yourself. Just be careful with when you do that. Um, but just saying like immortal is awesome. So cool. Thank you for bringing that up, Jen. I appreciate that. Um, what other comments do we have about skincare? What else have you ladies used? And any gents, if we have any on the call, I don't think we do though. Not in person anyway. I'm sure we have some listening though. Geranium is good. I'm going to be quiet because it's very noisy here. I'm going to mute myself, but geranium is a wonderful skin oil that we did. Geranium. Talk about. Just kind of like for skin in general, like. Yes. Maddie would mix it with all sorts of different blends for skin issues. She would mix it because she didn't really like the smell of it by itself. So, she, but she really wanted to use it. Geranium is great for skin, for mm -hmm. skin. Ooh, good to know. And yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cause I mean, they, um, doTERRA actually puts geranium in a lot of these different ones. Like I noticed in a couple of these different things that, yeah, geranium was one of the ingredients. And actually I think it's in the moisturizer for Barrage as well. Um, and you're right. Geranium really is good for the skin. It's a purifier and really helps to just even out your skin tone. I, I do like geranium. I don't like the smell of it. You're, so Maddie's absolutely right. I don't really care for that, but it works so well that I'm willing to overlook that for, you know, for a few minutes. So it's okay. Um, 
Christy. Oh gosh, Christy is like raising her hand. I love it. So uh, st- <laughs> <laughs> um, I dream is also supposed to be good for psoriasis, which is a skin issue. So ooh, ooh, I do yes. not like the smell of geranium, but it has to be mixed with something. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's got to be mixed with something, but I will say again, like it works that well that it is worth to just overlook the smell. <laughs> like I promise you guys, like, I mean, and not even to just you ladies, because I know that you, know, but like anybody else who is listening right now, like seriously, you know, essential oils sometimes, like I know that people will tell me, oh, they're just, they, they kind of stink, like blah, but trust me, it is worth using these things because they work so well inside and out, like all of them. So yeah. But thank you, Christy. I love that. What else? Have you used anything else? Any other um, products you love? Me personally? Sure. <clears throat> well, like I said earlier, I really like the mud mask because mm-hmm. it's great at exfoliating. Yes. Uh, I don't use it as frequently as I should. So that's why. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I like the invigorating scrub. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I absolutely love <laughs> that too. So yeah. So the mud mask works really well. And I loved your post, Michelle earlier. Oh, you were brave, Michelle. I was proud of you. Michelle, could you actually tell us, tell us about what you were saying for just a moment? Um, about the feet? Yes. Oh, I put it on my feet because your, the bottom of your feet are, um, connected to the different parts of your, um, body. Mm -hmm. So just think of uh, reflexology Mm -hmm. and, you know, cleanse it all out. Yes. And I think you also mentioned your armpits too, right? I do my armpits because in June I had a scare for breast cancer mm-hmm. and that's when I switched from um, to natural deodorant instead of store-bought. So mm-hmm. I, I detox my armpits because all that, all that stuff is connected to your breast area. So yeah. you need to get all those toxins out. Absolutely. That's a great idea. I didn't think of doing that. Um, Not a good idea. I love talking it. Talking about the armpits, when we were at Summit, remember someone suggested using Immortel as a deodorant? Yes. It's an expensive deodorant, but it makes sense. So Exactly. Well, think about it. You know, that is such a precious area of our bodies. And so um, why not use the very best on that area? Because seriously, like that is going to help to clean out the area and to protect it, which that's worth everything. You know what? I mean, if that meant having to spend, you know, whatever it is, like $69 or whatever on the roller bottle, which, yeah, you're right. That's kind of a steep price right at first. But at the same time, to think about what it's doing for your body, that's pretty, that's priceless. So honestly, I wouldn't worry about that at all. Um, and I think that is awesome. And yes, you can use essential oils as deodorants too. And I've done it and I really like it. Um, I will say there are days when it's like so insanely hot that I'm just like sweating like crazy. So I might need something a little bit stronger, but the essential oils do really well in general and it does detoxify your body. So I think that's awesome, Michelle. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, the, um, so the, the mud mask, which um, has awesome things, it has juniper berry in it, which juniper berry is a very detoxifying oil. And actually like, I know that Jen, she probably ran out of battery on her phone. And, um, but I do know, like Jen actually brought this up on our last skincare call, which was fantastic. Um, so if any, you know, if any of you um, have like children or, you know, teens or whatever, um, that are struggling with acne, and I know that even I occasionally have, you know, breakouts or whatever, um, juniper berry is a fabulous oil to use because it is so cleansing and detoxifying. Sometimes that's what your skin needs. Like, you know, melaleuca is awesome, but if you find that maybe that's not helping as much, try some juniper berry with it you know, and maybe mix some um, geranium in there too, but those work really well. And so the mud mask, just going back to that for a second, um, that one is so detoxifying because it has the juniper berry, it has the myrrh along with, you know, like Amazonian clay and some other cool things. And it does help to detoxify. So it's absolutely a fabulous idea to put that on your feet and then also onto your armpits and things like that. So make that a regular ritual just to help clean out your body. Cause again, like Skincare, like skincare is interesting because it's not just about taking care of your skin per se on the surface. It's also about taking care of your innards, the inside of your body, so that then you can have the most beautiful expression on the outside. Because like inner beauty and outer beauty, like it is all connected. You know, we know this as humans, we, everything is connected in our bodies. So um, keep that in mind when you're trying to take care of your skin, that 
it's not just skin deep. <laughs> really, you know, skincare is not just skin deep. Huh? Deep quotes for you all. Um, but remember to also be cleansing out the inside of your body and taking care of that too, because that's precious. So anyway, oh my gosh, puppy love. I love it, Christy. I love seeing your dog. That's so cute. <laughs> Hello. All right. Any other comments? Because I apologize. I have taken like, we have taken most of the hour. <laughs> no, that's, this is great information. I love all the skincare. It is right. Like I find when I talk about skincare, like I could talk about this forever because it's such a popular thing. Like I love talking about skincare because there's so much to it and there's so many ways to take care of it. And so I have no doubt that this will, you know, not be our last call about skincare. You know, we'll definitely have another one. Um, we might give it a break though. Anyway. Um, all right. Any other comments before we close up for the evening? Any other skincare loves that we haven't talked about yet? All right. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much everybody for coming on the call tonight. I really like, it was so good to see you all here and it was a pleasure. So I look forward to our next call together and um, if everybody could just get off mute and just say goodbye, like that would be great. That would just make my night. Bye. Are we doing a business call or is this it? This is it, um, right? So I'll talk for just a few minutes about business, but not long because we don't have long. So just hang tight. And uh, Brandy, if you could close up our recording for this one, that would be awesome. Is she still?